Now, as far as immigration is concerned, Joe Biden said this. He said within 100 days of his presidency, he is going to introduce a bill for amnesty for the 11 million plus people who are here out of status in America, including all DACA recipients. Now, what does that mean, amnesty? Who would qualify? Is it 11 million? Is it 5 million? Is it 50 million? We don't know. But we do know it will be a lot better than if Trump is the president of the United States. Now, right. Trump said as far as the separation of families at the border, there's 545 children in custody in the United States. They can't find their parents. He said they're trying very hard to find the parents. Uh, and, and that these children are, are very well taken care of. You are not well taken care of if you are a child who gets separated from your parent. It's a trauma you never will recover from ever in your entire life. Getting stripped from your parent and living in a jail, no matter how well they're taken care of, and trust me, they are not at the Four Seasons, they're not even at the Marriott, they're not even in the Motel 6. Right. Okay, they're, First of all, when, they're in the Cockroach he, Hotel. When he kept on getting asked this question, like he just kept on just diverting and he would never really answer the actual question. And then he kind of said something to the fact where these kids are being brought in by coyotes and lions, and like their parents are thugs and rapists. No, and no, no. These are families who are escaping violence. We've had activist after activist who is helping these people. We, we have witnessed it on Bradshaw Live firsthand who most of these people are. They are people who live in very violent areas and are escaping for their lives with their family and coming to the border and ending up in tent camps and having their families separated. It's like exactly. leaving a war zone and running into a fire. That is what they now, are doing. Brad, with your experience, how do you feel about Biden's take on immigration and will you know well, that be able to be something that he'll... Well, Biden's take Actually, on man. Biden's take on immigration is, is that it, realistic? It's, it's, it is a disgrace. It is an absolute disgrace what is happening to the children and the families on the border. It is a violation of human rights to not allow them to enter the United States as long as they are not violent and allow them to go to a hearing and leave them on the other side of a fence in a tent waiting to be granted asylum for maybe one, two, three years, living in a tent. That's not any way welcoming, humanitarian. It's probably, and it's a violation of decent human rights. And if it's not, it's certainly a violation of decency and humanity, and certainly not what America stands for. As far as the amnesty, if Biden is going to pass an amnesty, the only way immigration amnesty would ever pass is if Biden wins, the House remains Democratic, and the Senate becomes overwhelmingly Democratic, which I think is unlikely but possible. Even if the Senate's 51 Democrat, 49 Republican, there will be Democrats from conservative areas that may not want to vote for amnesty. Now, so you would have to have an overwhelming Democratic majority to just get an amnesty passed in 100 days. However, I could see a situation where there is an amnesty that is passed in conjunction with a much larger bill reforming immigration and giving some things to Republicans and other conservatives to make an amnesty more palatable or amenable in terms of one grand bargain. We'll have to see what the makeup of the Senate and the House is before we start jumping up and down saying, okay, amnesty is around the corner. Yeah. They've, it's the just last, a lot of damage, though. The last time an amnesty passed, a general amnesty passed, I mean, they had Liberian amnesty, they've had amnesty for targeted niche groups. But the last time a general amnesty passed, I was in high school. It was 1986. Oh, wow. So we have lived almost closing in on 35, 40 years, two generations of our life 
with no amnesty. And we have a very divided country. It's nice to say well, I'm going to deliver an amnesty package. The Democrats, the Senate would have to be 60% 60, 60 Democratic. The House would have to remain Democratic for an amnesty to pass as easily as Biden said it would. Now, that exactly. doesn't mean That's that, what I'm saying. Yeah, that doesn't mean an amnesty won't pass. It'll just be part of a grander package where you may get an amnesty, but you may get more restrictive immigration somewhere else, you know, because you got to have a grand it, it bargain and, and nice. give it. Yes, exactly. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.